Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's fourth and final video. Here we go and have a look at the weather. The day to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 22nd of October. And we'll be able to extend up beyond that with the your best. He said, oh, so balls. Very fantastic weeks. We will have a look at CFS 3-2 at the end of the video. Now, the next four weeks gets us into the first half of November. And I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first. The video is serves our 6 UK weather forecast. We've also released a weekend forecast and the EC42 day as well. Check out all today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. For Gals, well, this. Thank you so much, everyone. So, we're going to be legit with the back. So, if I, at some point, go, ah! Then, um, <laughs> I've had a bit of a, a bit of a sharp pain, um, going through my back at that point. So, <laughs> hang around and it'll be an experience. Anyway, we're going to start off in the, uh, subtropical Atlantic. So, we've still got a tropical storm, Lacey, knocking around, giving maximum sustained winds of 50 mile per hour with a minimum set pressure of 1,002 millibars. Uh, Leslie is moving northeast, was at 24 mile per hour quite quickly now. I think Leslie is more or less done. Current position is just there. And uh, by tonight, tomorrow morning, so in Sunday, um, going post tropical. That should be the end of Lazy, but it's only been a very long lasting storm, that one, hasn't it? And we've also got disturbance one as well. We have a 40% chance of cyclone formation in the next two days and a 40% chance of cyclone formation in the next seven days. This could become a short lived tropical storm at some point in the next 24 hours. Overall, it doesn't look like there'll be much development with this boat up to at least the middle of next week. But we'll keep an eye on it, and it could be one to watch. OK, <clears throat> excuse me, coming back home, we've got central temperature down to 11.3 now. Um, oh, that's just 0.8 of a degree above 61 to 90.90 average. That'll drop further through the remainder of this weekend, but then we'll start to rise again uh, next week as temperatures become warmer. I reckon by this time next week, that's like, likely to be back in the 12s. These are the 500 millibar high tomography flow charts Penn State University for the next week to 10 days. We've got the ECMWF on the top and the GFS is down here on the bottom. So 500 millibars, 80,000 feet is the area in the atmosphere. High pressure and low pressure being moved around by objects running above. Blue extrapolates to below average heights, which is low pressure, yellow, orange, and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. For seven day, day time frame, the uh, ECM is placing low pressure in the North Atlantic, but also building height strong to our south and southwest. So that brings the driest weather into the south. Northern and western regions get the most unsettled weather. And it looks really quite mild, if not perhaps a bit warm, actually, with winds coming up from a southwesterly direction. But GFS is uh, quite different, actually. So the low pressure in the Atlantic is significantly deeper. So consequently, it's more unsettled for the UK and Ireland anyway. And the ridge is kind of more centred to our east as well. A little bit more of a blocking feature, maybe, to the east and to the north east. That's a bit of a battle that's going on there. Should keep us generally mild, though. Um, you know, the wind direction is still sort of uh, southwesterly, possibly southerly at times. But uh, that one's much more of a battle type scenario, whereas this one looks a lot more zonal and uh, southwesterly uh, with the uh, weather pattern. Meets with GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles next couple of weeks on Northampton. Local to me today. Red line is the third year upper air temperature average for Northampton, starting off below average at the moment. The cold snap continues through the weekend. But next week, early next week, you'll see upper air temperatures lifting up quite uh, quickly. So by the middle of next week, actually looking relatively warm, staying pretty mild through most of next week, but there is a drop in the upper air temperature back to normal when we get into the last week of October, so a bit of a cool down possible there. And still looking generally mixed as well, not as wet as it has been at times through the autumn, maybe, but even so, there will be further showery bursts to come through the early part of next week, and then later next week, maybe turning more unsettled, actually, um, than wet to weather late next week and into uh, next weekend, possibly dry again into the last week of October. 
Top to Dobbly, show me top to 20 for, uh, top to 20 for October above average and precipitation anomalies from the 12th, 20th of October, driving average in the north of the east, near north to a bit wetter than average in the south and the southwest. Ladies and gentlemen, from Earth, no school.net, so we've got low pressure sinking through the country today, but a nice ridge is building out in the Atlantic, and that'll bring us a dry, if rather cold day tomorrow. And by the time we get through to Tuesday, with chart data on the UK about Euro run, that ridge has gone to our east. So by Tuesday, uh, the ridge is in the east, and we're drawing up more of a southerly flow. Could still bring showers along as well as rain, though. And that's a setup through next week, really, with low pressure trying to get in off the Atlantic, bringing spells of rain at times. But all the... All the time, it looks quite warm with winds from a southerly southwest direction. That's next Saturday, midnight next Saturday, 19th of October. Looking rather wet and windy there. Maybe a little bit stormy in the uh, west and north with that particular area of low. Again, I can't. Again, it brings up that southerly flow as we go into Tuesday. But looks unsettled for the middle part of the week. Trotters of low pressure moving eastwards around the middle of the week. So warm but wet. And then into the end of the week and next weekend, continuing rather unsettled really with that low pressure never far away bringing further outbreaks of rain from off the Atlantic into the weekend of the 19th 20th of October this is how the KMA is looking so once more trot of low pressure heading east through the middle park which shows along as well as rain likely then and then into the end of the week and the weekend well that was quite stormy maybe for the north and the west uh, next weekend, but heights are rising to the south, so very mild with a south, uh, a long fetch southwest, you bring the air up all the way from the Azores, but will be quite unsettled in the north and the west. Eventually, by 24th of October, maybe turning cooler and uh, more unsettled again. Quite unsettled flavour to the charts today, I have to say. Let's have a GFS uh, midnight run. Lots in comparison. Again, Wednesday, Thursday, warm with winds up from the south. Temperature could reach 20, maybe 21 degrees in the far south. East cool, that's about 70 Fahrenheit. But watch out for uh, low pressure bringing outbreaks of rain from the south and from the west. Into next weekend, continuing rather unsettled, especially so in the north and the west. That's day 10, 22nd of October. High pressure south, low pressure to the north, looking rather flat as a pancake. <laughs> and then beyond that, so heights are building to the south and southeast, low pressure out to the northwest. So it could be very mild, if not quite warm, as we're going to be extended with those long fetch southwest winds, but still without breaks of rain at times, especially so, but not exclusively so, into the north and west. Wet and windy and cooler everywhere there by the 28th of October. That's as far as we get to with the GFS. And then the GFS 6Z shows high pressure east, low pressure west on Tuesday. Drawing up that southerly uh, wind that carries on into Wednesday and Thursday with low pressure bringing outbreaks of rain to the north and west as well. Further low pressure driving in at the end of the week and into the weekend. All the time, though, the wind's pumping up from southwest, so the air will remain mild, if not warm, but with further, with further outbreaks of rain at times. The extended, well, continuing quite unsettled, flat as a pancake, really high pressure rain to the south, low pressure to the north, all looking very, very zonal. That's a setup as we get to the end of the GFS 6 set run. And yes, we're still drawing up those uh, very mild, if not quite warm, southwesterly winds. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Want to drop a comment? Just to say what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers. Get them to subscribe too. It's amazing. It's incredible. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Around 55 subscribers will get us to 18.9k. So if you could give us a sub, tell your friends and family to subscribe, that'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Love it. Thank you. GM. Once more, with high pressure east, low pressure west on Tuesday. It's Wednesday and Thursday. We remain from a southerly southwesterly direction, but with outbreaks of rain coming in off the Atlantic at times. Next weekend, looking unsettled, wet wind, especially so up in the north. And that's the setup at day 10. So most unsettled in the north, driest, but not completely dry. Down in the south, pretty mild in the south, but cooler perhaps up in the north, all very zonal. And then the ECM are rounding it all off with high pressure east, high pressure west on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're drawing up that southerly uh, westy flow with further outbreaks of rain coming in from the west, warm and wet from the middle part. We're a little bit cooler by next weekend and still quite unsettled. Days 9 and 10 starts to build height strongly to the south, and we draw up what looks like a very warm southwesterly flow of rare temperature showing a plus 10 cells iceberg. Getting back into South Bear on the 22nd of October.
October will bring probably quite a lot of rain to Western Scotland and Northern Ireland with that though. This is, this is the precipitation forecast based on the East End run from Tibet Channel Cold. Another shiny burst come today, cold up some snow over high ground into Scotland as well. We're drying tomorrow though, but tomorrow night into Monday, outbreaks of rain spreading eastwards across England and Wales, and that could be quite heavy. Um, then we dry again through Monday, but Tuesday bring showers into the south and the west. They get more widespread through Wednesday to Thursday as well. And then into next weekend, when next week, next weekend, looking quite unsettled without breaks of rain at times. Eventually, it looks like wettest weather is heading up towards Northern Ireland and Western Scotland as high to build to the south. Big time drops on the table within the East Sea of today, 4 day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 22nd of October. 16 members of the East Sea of Arsenal with low pressure to the north and west, high pressure to the south and the east. And that's going to draw up a long, fetch southwesterly wind. Dry to the south, west to the north, and very mild. We've got 10 looking very unsettled. Deep low pressure through the country. That's a little bit cooler as well. We're a westerly flow, still mild though. 9 including the control and the operation room with high pressure building strongly from the south across much of the country, restricting most unsettled weather at day 10 to the far north. We've got six with low pressure in the Atlantic, high pressure from the north to France. So, again, wind coming up southwesterly direction. We've got another six with high pressure dominating over into the east. That's the driest, most settled option. And it's still quite mild as well, or warm with winds up from the southwest. And they've got four with deep low pressure right over top of the country. Now, obviously, that could be very unsettled. All options are looking mild, if not quite warm, at day 10. Just a question of how settled or unsettled it will be. And then, in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 27th of November. My line went wonky. 12 members of the East Coast. On Saturday, low pressure to the northwest, high pressure to the southwest. That keeps the flow in from the Atlantic. Plus, a little bit cooler with that. We've got 10 with low pressure sinking down through west of Europe. That looks uh, more unsettled and a bit cooler as well. We've got 9 with high pressure pulling out into the Atlantic. Low pressure is to our uh, east. That's going to be unsettled. Perhaps, perhaps very unsettled and colder. We have got uh, eight with heights building in the Atlantic, Mid Atlantic, ridge, low pressure to our south and southeast. And again, we draw the wind in from more of the north and northeast. So we've got another eight with high pressure, bringing a lot of dry weather. And then finally, we've got four with northern blocking uh, between Iceland and Norway. Low pressure down towards France that get wind in from the east. And that brings the westest weather back into the south, kind of the pattern that we have through September into the start of October, but only four going in that direction. So it looks generally uh, very mild, if not quite warm, at day 10, and uh, probably reasonably dry-ish down in the south, more unsettled in the north with those long fetched southwest winds. And then a range of options when we get to two weeks out. Anything could happen. Any, all the possibilities are there when we get to uh, two weeks out. Uh, CFS V2 finally, and then we're done. So it means a 500 middle bar height and always bring down to meet peers. The first week peer will take us from the 12th to the 18th of October. The next week looking unsettled with low pressure to the north and we bring the wind in from off the Atlantic. A little bit like that. Week two will be the 19th to 25th of October. Heights rising, right, to the south. Low pressure being pushed northwards, so turning drier into the south and also turning uh, warmer or certainly milder as well. Week three <laughs> will be the 26th of October, the 1st of November. High pressure over and to west southwest country, mostly dry. I should still be pretty bad with that. But week four looks interesting from a colder perspective. It's the 2nd to the 8th of November. Heights then pulling out into the Atlantic, so a mid Atlantic ridge, perhaps into going towards Greenland, and a trough of low pressure setting up around Germany and Denmark. And the upshot of that would be pull the wind in to a colder north or northeast direction. So more unsettled belt, certainly more showering and colder, dare I say it. Perhaps even a little bit of wintry potential for the north anyway. But it's a long way off, four weeks away, so it's not worth getting excited about at this stage. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're not doing that. Why don't you comment? And so, one thing about missing all of our videos and content, don't forget to tell your friends about Gav's Web. Get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for um, doing that. Right, so that's it for today's videos. Tomorrow, we've got 6 MBK weather forecast. We've also got, of course, the 7th winter 
2024-25 update. It'll be a real, real epic, that one. So uh, I hope you'll uh, get to see that at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And then we will be live at 6 p.m. tomorrow discussing the winter update, doing a change of 14 day uh, and uh, doing some long range as well, as it is a Sunday live stream. Got to include some long, long range. I think this week you'll be a CFS and Copernicus suite of uh, models. So that could be quite exciting and interesting coming up for you tomorrow. An epic day of content at Dowsworthy's once again. So I've got a busy afternoon, evening ahead of me, getting that winter update together. But you enjoy the rest of your Saturday, and I'll see you tomorrow. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.